Teams from across the country came here to see demonstrations like a subway terrorist attack. But this is no common disaster training. The key is technology that aids law enforcement and emergency management in making better decisions more quickly. Gunshots, fire, screams, chaos. That's the reality of some situations first responders go into. So how can the responses to crises and disasters be improved? Ryan English's company, Flymotion, has set out to answer that question. He believes technology is the key. Giving them the ability to put something that is a piece of technology where normally we had to put a human uh, it's life saving. At the annual unmanned tactical application conference at the Guardian Centers in Perry, hundreds of first responders from across the country see scenarios of how technology, like drones and robots, can change the outcome of life threatening situations. Actual first responders are taking part in those scenarios. Individuals with the Houston County Fire Department taking on subway terrorist attacks to personnel from Warner Robins PD demonstrating an act of shooter situation. The role players are actual law enforcement, actual fire rescue, um, and that I think is key because the tactics are similar to what they would use on a day to day call. Others there to observe also get time to work with the technology and run through the scenarios themselves. What we're training, you know, departments to do is to be able to deploy, you know, let's say a drone unit or a robotics unit. And so that that is now part of the response. Romeo Dorsher with Autirian is dedicated to making technology that aids first responders. We have really learned a lot how to integrate multiple types of robotics from air to ground, water, underwater. All these devices help our first responders to get better, faster data to make better and faster decisions. Through the accurate data technology provides that better informs law enforcement and emergency management, lives could be saved. These departments will go home. They will be more proficient in the use of this technology, ultimately helping their communities and keeping their colleagues more safe. Reporting in Perry, Aaron Wise, WGXA News.